recognizing the increasing need for urgent access to medical services and more so the increasing number of deaths that are caused by lack of prompt pre-hospital care and medical attention to Yambe Emergency Services together with Canada Uganda Emergency Society started an initiative to bring medical services closer to the people as Grigory Okello expounds. Uh, why KWMP is because the founder of the organization, KWES, Canada Uganda Emergency Services, upon his arrival here, uh, he saw the kind of uh, way that people were, were having when it comes to basic uh, pre-hospital care or emergency care and uh, he decided to do something about it and what he decided to do has eventually led to this organization called Toyambe Emergency Services where we provide this free uh, basic pre-hospital care and transportation to patients within Kawempe. So Kawempe was his uh, his destination at first and then saw the, the condition and then decided to do something about it. According to Okelo, together with its partners, Toyambe Emergency Services offers free ambulance services, most especially to those in need, like accident victims within Kawempe. Within Kawempe Division, the cost is free, so long as the hospital that is going to receive this patient is also within Kawempe Division. But if the hospital is outside Kawempe Division, or the patient is uh, a little bit outside Kawempe Division, then they incur a certain uh, charge according to what hospital they are going to and how far the hospital is. Even though voluntariness is a choice or actually it is free from coercion and undue influence from other people, Okelo says that these free services are offered by paid professionals. And then saw the, the condition and then decided to do something about it. According to Okelo, together with its partners, Toyambe Emergency Services offers free ambulance services most especially to those in need, like accident victims within Kawempe. Within Kawempe Division, the cost is free, so long as the hospital that is going to receive this patient is also within Kawempe Division. But if the hospital is outside Kawempe Division, or the patient is uh, a little bit outside Kawempe Division, then they incur a certain uh, charge according to what hospital they are going to and how far the hospital is. Even though voluntariness is a choice or actually is free from coercion and undue influence from other people, Okelo says that these free services are offered by paid professionals. We are operating with a type B ambulance, it's a basic ambulance and it, it has all the needs. One would wonder if these services are only offered to accident victims, however, Okelo says that even other cases are catered for, like the pregnant mothers who are not exempted. He says patients are driven to hospitals and other medical facilities of their choice. However, those found unconscious are driven to the nearest government medical facilities. No, we don't have a particular hospital that we take patients to. Sometimes, depending on it depends on the patient's condition. Sometimes the caretakers may not know the appropriate hospital, the best hospital for a patient and then we can decide for them or we, we, we uh, advise them and tell them that this kind of patient, this kind of hospital is where they are going to be treated the best. Toyambe Ambulance does not abandon the patients they take to hospitals as they also keep an eye on the patients as they follow up on their treatment. Our work uh, almost never ends because after we've handed over this patient, we do patient follow up after we've given them to the doctors, after a few days have passed, we call and ask about the patient's condition. These have also taken us through a demonstration on how they save life in case they receive a call of emergency. Hello, to Emergency Services. You're speaking to Vivian. What happens when we receive a call? So the first thing is when a call comes in, the crew gathers information from the caller on the phone asking about how the patient is, the patient's condition, and where they are. And immediately after the call is concluded, the team uh, gathers all necessary uh, equipment and then heads into the ambulance and then heads out to the call. The period between when the crew receives a call and when they are going to the call on their way, that is the most important part of the whole call or uh, emergency response because it is the time when the crew 
um, gets to uh, organize themselves and allocate duties, who is going to be doing what at the scene. So when the crew arrives on the scene, the first thing is to locate the patient and ask a little bit more about the patient's condition and then uh, assess the patient. If uh, a, trauma, a trauma patient or a patient who has had an accident, uh, the first thing that the crew does is to avoid moving the patient and then the crew will do a thorough head to toe physical, ass physical assessment and then after the physical assessment the crew will move on according to what they have found out in their physical assessment, stabilize the patient accordingly. If uh, it's a high mechanism of injury, maybe say the patient has been hit or they've fallen from a, a height, uh, the crew will stabilize the spinal, uh, they will immobilize their, their spine, and then the crew will carry on to do the necessary interventions, and then package the patient, and then as all this is going on, the crew doing that, uh, someone will be asking about uh, where the caretakers want this patient to be taken, which hospital they prefer for, for the patient to be treated in. And then the crew will make a decision and then load the patient onto the ambulance and then reassess the patient according to the initial uh, assessments, how they were done. And then during the transportation, the assessments will go on, the necessary treatments and interventions will also go on until the patient arrives at the hospital. And upon arrival at the hospital, uh, another reassessment has to be done before the patient is loaded off the ambulance. And then when that is finished, the patient is taken out of the ambulance and taken into the hospital and uh, taken to where they are supposed to be received. If it's uh, a trauma emergency, taken to the trauma section. If it's a medical emergency, they are taken to the medical section. And then uh, a, a doctor who is going to be uh, receiving this patient has to be given what they call a verbal report. Vivian Akech, an ambulance driver, explains how special an ambulance vehicle is and so the drivers have to acquire the special training. You have to undergo vigorous training to know all the road rules and signs, you have to understand all of them. And considering that an ambulance is not just any car, you need to understand everyone and everything on the road more than everyone else. And above all, you must uh, have gone for defensive driving. She oversights some of the challenges she faces in the course of doing her job despite being a woman. One is that we have to compete for the road with the other road users. In Uganda, people don't really respect the ambulance. So we have to fight for the road with them sometimes, though there are those who do understand. Another thing is that our roads are quite narrow. Sometimes even if someone wishes to give you way, they can't do that because the road is very narrow. And then our traffic is usually too much. Poor roads is also a hindrance to her in her service delivery. Serious potholes on our roads that makes it very difficult to transport patients who are very critical. You hit a hump and the patient's condition changes for the worse, which is not something that we want. Nanda Ulasala, working with Payambe Emergency Services, explains how the financial boost limits their coverage as they only stick to Kawempe Division only. In most cases you find that uh, we cancel calls because we are already engaged attending to other patients and that really makes us to feel bad. But in case we get an extra support, we can really be able to attend to them as well. Currently, the resources which are available are strictly only attached to Kawempe Division. But in case of any other support, we can as well support other parts outside Kawempe Division. Sarah narrates her worst experience as a caretaker in the Toyambi Ambulance Services. The worst moment I've ever found in this job is to risk, is to rush to go and save a patient and along the way he doesn't make it. But when you've done your best. How many cases of scenarios have you faced of that kind? Yeah, myself on a crew I've ever been on. I've faced 
capital cases. One of the beneficiaries for the Tweyambe is so grateful for the free services that were given to her aged mother. My name is Wanyana Bena. Tweyambe has helped us so much because they quickly respond to my mother immediately whenever approached. They always carry out different tests of diabetes. My mother doesn't move because she broke her leg, but they give her first aid from her room. Kawie Israel, Jacqueline Namfuka for BTM News Today.